Hey everyone, welcome back to another Korea tutorial. Today I'm going to go over how to convert your text into an editable uh, vector shape. Like with the lines, you can drag the path and the points and all that fun stuff. Um, and the reason for that is because in order to export it as SVG properly, you need to basically make sure the text has a outline or a fill or some information for the SVG to be like, yeah, I, I know what this is. And if you don't do this, um, when you export your SVG, it may not work properly, uh, especially if there's a transparent background or something. Uh, I was doing this when I was testing how to bring SVGs into uh, ZBrush and the text just wasn't working. And I thought, oh, maybe this is a Krita thing, and it's not. It's an SVG thing, because Illustrator was doing the same, um, had the same results. So then I found out, oh, well, duh, I, it's not like, I can't edit the individual letters of the text, so and that's the difference between me making a custom SVG shape and using the text. So I wanted to go over that today real quick with everyone else, so that way if you need to export text from Krita as a SVG and it's not working for you, this could be why. Alright, so let's click the text tool, click and drag, and then this is going to come up. I'm just going to make this bigger so we can see it and change the font to something more interesting. Uh, there's one I saw before. Oop, there it is. Be difficult to read, but that's fine. We're just gonna... Ugh, can't type today. There's a dog barking outside. Sorry to hear that. Alright, so make that a little bigger. Save. That ah, looks good enough. Okay. Let's move that to the center. So, as you can see, it's, you know, on a vector layer that's automatically created, but I can't, like, edit anything on here. I can't change, oh, I want that T, that T to be more curved out, or less chunky, or maybe I want the G to, like, have a better loop. Um, and this is, you know, for some stuff, maybe you want to edit the text to be a little bit more um, unique from a font that you've chosen. And if you're in art school, you have to do that anyway, so... You know, anyway, so with this little um, edit shape tool selected, we're going to um, right click and we can do to path and then get crazy results. Or we can also go to the tool options and say convert to path. Now, obviously, this is like crazy um, detail that has a lot of points, and you can go, you know, zoom in and uh, edit them or delete them as needed. But at least now you can do whatever you want. And I think with most texts that or most fonts I was using, it was just crazy like this, and and that's fine, you know, no biggie. So that's pretty much it. So now you, what you can do is you can export this as an SVG when you get a layer, uh, import export, and then save vector layer as SVG. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. And if you want me to talk about something uh, that I haven't gone over yet, please let me know in the comments because I am. Running it, I don't want to say running out of ideas for tutorials, but feature wise, I'm not remembering what I've gone over, what I haven't, because I think I've gone over most of everything so far. So if I did miss something, maybe I talked about a tool but didn't go over a tool option, let me know. Alright, thanks for supporting me, and make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.